to part one of this very specialized MMC 2022 tutorial series, we're going to go as quickly as possible through lots of topics that you might need to know and as short as possible as well. So starting with how to create an entry, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, there is a lengthier explanation of how to create a world on my uh, channel. I'll link it in the video description, but this one's just going to be how to do it very quickly. So all entries of MMC must be within a world. So let's create a world. Um, if you go ahead and uh, let's hop into Smooth PV. If you open up your dash here, your dash might look, look uh, exactly like mine, but on the extreme right is the important part, which is the create new world button. Click this button and then it'll present you with a lot of options. Um, I recommend for building your MMC entry, I recommend Grizzbase. And then if you want to build in private, by all means, go ahead and do that. We'll be doing that today. But hey, maybe build in public. Uh, I also recommend giving it a name at the top here. So I'm just going to call this uh, MMC oops, uh, test two. I'm going to go ahead and hit start session. And you'll now see that we're in uh, a brand new world, uh, so everything's different. Um, so we're in a sort of dark space world, that's my home world. We're now in this uh, bright space, uh, bright sky world, with a lot of open space for you to build. Uh, immediately what I'm going to do is make some changes so we can just save this and prove that saving works. I'm going to go over here to this metallic inspector here, I'll go ahead and change, oh, not that one, this one, uh, to red, that makes the floor red. I'm going to go over to the right here and I'm going to make the sky tint, uh, let's go green. And then there we go, we've got a customized world. I'm also gonna go ahead and add some um, uh, models to that. So let's go ahead and add just one model from Neos Essentials. You can find lots of models in Neos Essentials. This isn't a video about how to find assets. This is just how to, you know, make a world, etc. So I'm gonna to go to Neos Essentials, Assets, 3D Models, and Furniture. Uh, I'm gonna grab a, you know, this, this lounge chair here put it in the middle of the world, and then that's it. This is my entry. So I want to save this entry to make sure that I can come back to it later. Maybe it's midnight, and I want to come back to this entry in the morning and do some more additional work on it. So what do I need to do? So the first step we need to do is to save the world. Now, the initial save can be a little bit confusing, so I'm going to talk you through it. So go ahead, open up your dash. Uh, let me turn back on private UI so you can see my dash. Go to the session menu. Once inside the session menu, you'll see uh, settings for the session that you're in. You're looking for, on the left-hand side, the world save options. Hit save as. You'll see save changes is grayed out. Don't worry about it. Hit save as. And you'll see that this here appears. Uh, you'll see that both save here and saved inventory are currently grayed out. So I'm going to explain why that is. Uh, for the purposes of this tutorial, Ignore save here though, I don't recommend using it for the MMC, so we're just going to ignore that. Check my uh, world tutorial link to the description for information about save here, but let's just not use it. So we want save to inventory to be ungrayed uh, out. This is grayed out because I'm currently inside Neos Essentials. I went and got that asset for you. So I'm going to go ahead and navigate to a folder within my inventory where I want to store this world. I recommend a blank folder. Um, such that you don't get lost in the root of your inventory. So I've now navigated to an empty folder. You'll see if I turn my private UI back on, I'm inside inventory, temp, temp2, my inventory is a mess. Uh, and you'll see save to inventory is now um, lit up and I can select it. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. It's going to hit saving and then the world orb will appear and then go zoom into the inventory here where you'll see there's a, a generating thumbnail. But once that thumbnail generates, you'll see that it appears there. There you go, MMC test two. Now that is just the um, world orb, it's not the actual world. This can cause some confusion, but just to prove it, if I go ahead and I select this and I hit delete, nothing here happens. The world actually still exists. If we go back to my worlds menu and we go to my worlds, clear that out, you'll see that MMC test two still exists as a world that I can open up a session for. And that's because the world is separate from the world orb. The world orb is just a sort of link to the world. So I'm going to go ahead, if you lose the world orb, you can just go to here, hit new session, get world orb, you'll get that world orb back, and then we can go ahead, go back to the inventory and re-save it. So there we go. That is uh, saving the world initially. Once it's saved, things get a lot simpler. There's a couple of ways to save it. Go to session, and then save changes will now be um, lit up and you can use it. So let's say, for example, I now, I don't know, I make the floor a different color. So we'll say, hey, I'm going to make it uh, pink now, and hit OK. And I want to then save those changes. Go to that session menu and hit save changes. That's number one way to save it. The second way is if you want to close and save it at the same time. So again here, let's say, hey, I changed that world, the floor color again. I can go ahead and go to the home tab. And in the top right, I can hit close world and then save changes. And that will save it and then immediately close it. 
If I'm done and I don't want the changes to be applied, as in I don't, I've made a mistake, something's broken, or the world is finished and I just want to take a look at it, do close world and then discard changes. That'll mean any changes are not applied. If you want to save the world again, you can hit save as. This is good for versioning. You can also do save as from the session menu. Um, and that will allow you to save another copy of it. Do keep those copies aligned and don't end up with a crazy scenario where you don't know which was the most uh, up-to-date copy. Let's go ahead and hit Close World, Save Changes. This will dump you back to um, the home world or back to any other world that you're in. And then you can go ahead and open up that world again. And just to prove that, I'm going to go to Worlds. I'm going to find the world. So here inside My Worlds, you'll see MMC Test 2. Uh, go ahead, open this up hit new session. I can go ahead and I can uh, hit start session here or start custom session here. It doesn't matter which. Hit private again here. Hit start. It'll load in. You'll see that the floor is pink as it just was and everything's here. Hey, my, uh, my lounge chair here. Even the MMC test two world is there that I left there. So you go. That's how to save um, how to save a world and every single entry inside MMC must be a world. That is part one for you. We're going to go ahead and uh, head on to part two, which is how to submit that world once it's done. I'll see you in just a moment.